Yep. I finally got a Steam Deck. So, I figured now would be a great time to do a series of tutorials on how to best set up gyro aiming uh, depending on the game because each game has its own little quirks on what works best so I figured uh, best place to start was Apex Legends here um, first off I'll show you how terrible I am with stick aiming I was just I've never been good at first person shooters with regular controllers uh, so first place to start is with the steam input settings here press the steam button uh, you'll see you first you'll, the overlay will start like this here and you want to make sure you're up up here where it says apex legends you go to the right and go to the right again you'll see controller settings here press a now first of all I'd like to start with a basic template so to change your template you go up here hit A, go to templates, R1 twice, and let's start with the gamepad with mouse trackpad template. And I'll show you what that does. So that's basically just a regular Xbox controls. Everything's laid out exactly where you'd expect it to be, uh, except the trackpad behaves like a mouse. So you'll see it's a very smooth, great for aiming, and that's ideally that's what you want on your gyroscope as well as you want to map the mouse input the problem is a lot of games have conflicting issues when mixing and matching game regular gamepad um, like xbox controls with keyboard and mouse controls and you'll see what i mean here so while my aiming may be smooth with the trackpad here as soon as i start moving the stick here my 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 movement gets very jittery you see that I, there's that's very that's extremely unplayable so this is game not a great candidate for mixed inputs so the solution for that is what we call a mouse like joystick and uh, for some reason they renamed mouse joystick from the original big picture mode uh, steam input stuff to as joystick so uh, let's go back into steam input here controller settings go to edit layout this is where you get you, you can edit anything to your heart's content edit layout I'm gonna go down to gyro gyro behavior we're gonna make that uh, as joystick so that's that's different from joystick. Joystick will recenter itself as you move, and it does not feel good at all for gyro. I'm going to do as joystick, which is just mouse joystick. And basically, what that does is it makes it makes it outputs joystick commands to the game, but makes it feel like a mouse. So you'll move, and it'll move smoothly but there's some limitations to that because of how games interpret joystick inputs so I'll show how to how to minimize that as much as possible uh, well, let's go into the gyro behavior settings first real quick just to get a brief overview here uh, vertical uh, so let's start with general here vertical sensitivity scale I'm not exactly sure what that does but I've lowered it and raised it before and it's kind of a sensitivity slider custom response curve that's uh that's basically how fast the camera slash fake joystick starts moving depending on your the way you're you're moving your wrists here uh you want it more to be you want it to be as close to one to one as possible like a regular mouse enhanced small movement precision this one is pretty important especially for mouse joystick because you you when you're using gyro aim you want to have, you want to be able to fine tune your aim and the the higher that is the more small movements the steam deck will pick up so you don't want it to be too high because then it starts getting jittery even if you're staying still but you also don't want to be too too low because then you'll have a basically a dead zone at really small movements and that just makes it impossible to do anything like sniping for example uh gyro gyro i put scale i honestly don't really know what that does either, but it kind of messes with the sensitivity. Gyro enable button. This one's really important. 
I, I like where it defaults to here, right stick or right pad touch. So basically that means if your finger is on the right stick or the right touch pad, that's when the gyro will activate. Otherwise, you can move, wiggle the Steam Deck around like crazy and it, your gyro won't be moving around at all. Uh, on, basically, that's saying as I'm touching the stick or the touchpad, the gyro, gyroscope will be on. Combined yaw and roll. So yaw is this the way you uh no sorry yaw is like this moving the steam deck like this so as you're aiming move like that and roll it's like this you want to you ideally you want to do both you want to get both movements into the the gyro aiming in gyro yaw and roll contribution that's basically saying which one contributes more to the amount of movement being done on the gyroscope uh, for now let's just keep that the same output uh, you can invert vertical or horizontal if you're a maniac that likes to do that rotation uh, that's just basically what's the what's the base uh, orientation of the steam deck in order to start moving it it's it's not really important here uh, movement threshold uh, that's just it, that's that one's not important minimum joystick X and Y output value this is basically saying what's the minimum we're telling the game the stick is moving as we move the gyroscope around so basically so if we put it really high for example any little movement you do on the Steam Deck will basically be telling the game I'm moving it I'm moving the stick all the way here all the way here all the way there depending on how you're moving it uh, trigger dampening. That's uh, I was like, oh, am I am I gonna be pulling the left trigger softly uh, to slow down the gyroscope a little bit, just to give me a little more control? Uh, I personally I don't use that, but it's a it's a good one to have there just in case. I'll, let me show you uh, what the options are. So this is just the amount, what percentage are you gonna pull it down to? So this is basically it's defaulting at ninety percent there. Uh, haptics. I do like haptics on my gyroscope. I'm gonna put that on medium. You'll, as you move it around, you'll feel you'll feel uh, like some vib small vibrations in the Steam Deck as you move it around. Uh, so that's it. Those are all the settings here. Um, yeah. So now let's see. Let's see how that behaves in the game real quick. So as you can see, doesn't move. Now it moves. I have much more precision in my aim. I can move it like this too with the touchpad. Uh, but this isn't quite feeling how I like. It's it's the sensitivity is much too low. I need to move this way too much just to get anywhere. And then and I can really output. I can really uh, outpace the max sensitivity of the stick. So the reason for that is. The gyroscope is emulating the stick here, and you can see if I, I'm moving the stick around, sensitivity is pretty low. So what you want to do now is actually edit the in-game stick settings. So we're gonna go. We're gonna pause here and hold for the game menu. Go to settings. Go to controller, and you could you could uh, quickly just change look sensitivity to something really high, like insane, for example. And now look at that. You got really smooth gyroscope in comparison to what we had before but it's still not ideal it's it's got some weird acceleration curves and it's yeah it's just not great it's it's all right it's a lot better i could easily play like this but there's more we can do so i'm gonna go back to the settings here and instead of using the uh instead of using the that i'm gonna go to advanced look controls i'm gonna turn those on uh, dead zone. Uh, okay. Oh, look, th look. These are the settings I had already done. Let me restore this to defaults real quick. Dead zone defaults to 16%. Now we don't really need that for a stick because the Steam Deck already has its own built-in dead zone that's going to override anything the control the game sees. I like uh, uh, after some testing, uh, putting it at 0% was a little too low that I was just getting too much crazy wiggling around when staying still. So I put it at 3%. That felt pretty good. Uh, response curve. You'll see it ramps up here this the further you go out you want this to feel as linear as possible just to get that mouse like precision yaw speed i like to turn that up 
Uh, let's try 500 and see how that goes. Pitch speed as well. Uh, da, da, da. EDS, yaw, and pitch. Let's turn that up as well. Let's go, not go so high. And let's see how that feels. Target compensation. I'm not really sure what that is. I think that's aim assist. Influences look input. Yep, that's aim assist. Let's let's keep that on for now, but uh, ideally you want that turned off. Okay, there we go. So now you can see. It's it's a little too sensitive for me. And wiggling is too much here. You see that I'm trying to stay still. Let's turn that down a bit now. ADS. Let's bring it down to about 260 here. And I think I had it at 300 before. That's where it felt good for me. Now the, keep in mind this is all per personal preference. Oh, ran out of ammo there. That's a lot better. That's pretty ideal for me here. I'm a little I'm wiggling a little too much here. Just keeping it trying to keep still. So let's let's go into the steam settings here, the steam input settings. Edit layout. A little gyro settings here. And I think it's under general. Enhance small movement precision. Let's bring it down to 50 and just fill it out. It's still, uh, you know, if anything, it's a little more shaky now. So let's change that back. I'm going to keep this unedited just so you can see my me my methods here, the methods to my madness. And if anything, let's try increasing it and see how that feels real quick. That's a lot better, actually. That is a lot better. 90. Yep, that's fantastic. Let's try to get a headshot. There we go. Yeah, this feels great. Missed that one. Try to get a target real far out there. Yep. Perfect. Uh, now let's move on to something else because there's a lot more you can do with Steam Input that a lot of people aren't just don't seem to be exploring for some reason. There's a lot of Steam Decks out there. I've seen a lot of reviewers with them, and they're just not touching the steam input settings for some reason so uh, one thing I'd like to show is how to customize the back buttons for example so uh, ideally when you're playing a shooter you don't want to take your you don't want to take your finger off your you know off your right stick here you don't want to be losing aim even for a second so one thing I like to do is map the face buttons to the buttons on the on the grips here on the back so hit steam go to controller settings edit layout we we'll go to buttons. I'm going to go down to the back grips here. So L4, that's the top left grip button here. I'm going to make that the reload button. That's just my personal preference. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to put X there. And then on R4, the top right grip button, put A so I can jump. And uh, let's just leave it like that for now. So now I can easily jump without ever having to hit, take my thumb off the stick here. Oh, 
I don't have it on full auto, on semi auto here. Let's turn off that aim assist just to see. See how I do without it. Because you probably don't want to be uh, fighting with the. Uh, you don't want it to be fighting with your driver controls. Yep. So now you can see as I walk by here, there's no no aim assist. And I'm at Okay. All right. Uh, next thing is the trackpad. I'm going to show you some cool tricks here. So. Just like we did on the on the gyroscope, we can put the as joystick option on the trackpad here. And it's not gonna be as great as gyro. It's you're really limited. Ideally on a trackpad, you want high sensitivity, but you still get quite a bit of precision out of it. And yeah. And in combination with the with the gyro controls, it can be great. But personally, it, I will, if you if you want to use the trackpad instead of the stick, I would recommend going for a full mouse and keyboard configuration instead. Uh, you will lose button prompts though. You'll, as you see there, uh, you're not you're not gonna have like D pad Y A B X Y all that. It's gonna be keyboard con uh, controls showing on screen. So you're gonna need to memorize exactly where you have everything. Uh, but here's a cool thing. So one thing I've noticed is the default pressure sensitivity to execute whatever command is on the click of the touch trackpad is way too low i i keep accidentally activating it so i'm gonna all right let's add that command so we're gonna add the right stick click to the right trackpad here right stick click and yeah it just it activates almost as soon as i touch touch the touchpad here i'm trying to if i'm trying to swipe sometimes it just it's way too sensitive so I'll show you how to fix that. Let's go to edit layout, trackpads, right stick click, and get a little, little gear icon here, settings. It's a soft press. That's that's really important. You want it to be a soft press. Not a regular press, double press, any of the other stuff. You want it to be a soft press and you go to settings. Activation style, hair trigger is fine. So here it is. There's the th soft press threshold. So basically you're, you're telling the Steam Deck, when I push it, when I push this much pressure onto the trackpad, activate the right stick click. I'm gonna put that up. I think I had it around 26,000 here, where it felt good for me, where I wasn't doing it accidentally anymore. Yep, no accidents, no accidental inputs. If I, yep, there we go. Perfect. Uh, let me add haptics to that now that I think about it. Oh. Settings, go all the way down to, um, oh, there it is, haptics intensity. I like that on high. Yep, and now I feel much stronger vibration as I click it in. Um, well, well, I think that's going to be the end of it. That's uh, it's my first gyro tutorial on the Steam Deck, and I hope you guys look forward to more. I'm going to be showing some more tips and tricks with Steam Input because it's really, really powerful and I hope to see more uh, Steam Input experts out there in the community. Steam Deck is just, it's a great device, you know, and I want it to, I want to, I want it to revolutionize how people play their games. We shouldn't be limited to what Microsoft decided made the ideal controller and what developers have decided was the ideal way to play with a controller. Gyroscopes. Gyros is just, it's the future, and yet it's been in controllers for, what, three generations now? Anyway, that's me ranting. I'm done. Bye.